Welcome to 5th grade math with Mr. J. So here we have our dividing decimals by decimal divisors mastery check where you're going to see if you have this down. You're going to try these four problems that are on your screen on your own and your goal is to have three or four correct out of the four. If you're looking for a little more help or an instructional video, I dropped the link to my instructional video for dividing decimals by decimal divisors down in the description. So go and check that out if you need to, and then come back to the mastery check to see if you have it down. If you're ready to give this mastery check a try, um, and you haven't done a mastery check on my channel before, this is how it works. You need something to write with and something to write on. When I say pause here in a few seconds, you'll press pause, solve these four problems, and then check your work with my work to see how you do. Okay, so if you are ready to go, go ahead and press pause. Welcome back. Hopefully you have those four problems done. And let's jump into it here with number one to see how you do. So we have 59 and 2 tenths divided by 2 tenths. Divisor is not whole, so I need to multiply it by a power of 10 to make it whole, or which is the same as moving this decimal. Whatever I do to the outside, I need to do to the inside. So I get 592 divided by 2. That will put my decimal in the right place, which comes at the end here. So I'm just going to leave it as a whole number. 5 divided by 2 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. Subtract, I get 1. Bring down that 9. 19 divided by 2 is 9. 9 times 2 is 18. Subtract, 19 minus 18 is 1. Bring down that 2. All right, 12 divided by 2 is 6. Multiply out. And I get a nice clean cut zero there, which means I'm done. And I went all the way over to my lowest place value. So 296 for number one. All right, let's check number two here. We have 85 and 5 tenths divided by 3 hundredths. Now this one's a little different. We need to multiply by 100 or move the decimal twice. Do that to the inside as well. And we have 8,550 divided by three. So how many groups of three out of eight? That's two. Two times three is six. Subtract, I get two. Bring down that five. How many groups of three out of 25? That's eight. Eight times three is 24. Subtract, I get one. Bring down that five. How many groups of three out of 15? That's five. Five times three is 15. Subtract, I get zero. Bring down that zero. Hopefully you didn't leave it as 285. Okay, remember, we need to go all the way over. So we need to do zero divided by three. How many groups of three are in zero? Well, zero. Zero times three is zero. Subtract, we get zero. So your quotient should have been 2,850. All right, number three. We have one and 44 hundredths divided by one and two tenths. So this one multiply by 10 or move the decimal once. Same thing to the inside. So we get, I'm gonna come over here to the left, 14 and four tenths divided by 12. Is my divisor whole? Yes, so I bring my decimal straight up. 14 divided by 12, one, one times 12. Subtract, I get two, bring down that four. 24 divided by 12 is two. Two times 12, 24. Subtract, get zero, one, and two tenths. Okay, and let's wrap it up here with number four. We have 14, this is a good one here. This, this is the hardest one on, out of the four. If you got this one, you really know what you're doing. Two and seven tenths and 14 and 31 hundredths. So not a whole divisor here, so we need to make it whole, multiply it by a power of 10 or move the decimal, same thing. So we get 27, move it once on the inside, 143 and 1 tenth. So rewrite our problem. 
Is my divisor whole now? Yes, so I can bring the decimal straight up. Now, I can't do 27 out of 1. Can't do 14 divided by 27, so I have to go to 143 divided by 27. Now, I do not know my 27 facts off the top of my head, so I need to estimate and check. And the way my brain works, I would think, okay, 27 is close to 25. How many 25s do I think? think I can pull out a 143 and that's where I can start my estimation so I would think well 25 times 5 is 125 and 25 times 6 is 150 so either 5 or 6 would be a good place to start I'm gonna start at 5 so I'm gonna go ahead and do 27 times 5 off to the side to see how close I can get to 143 5 times 2, 10, plus 3, 135. That's as close as I can get, okay? If I put another 27 on top, I'd be way over 143. So this is a 5 here, right above the 143. Not above the 4, not above the 1. 5 times 27 is 135. Subtract, I get... 81. So now I need to think 81 divided by 27. Well, 27 times 5 is 135. Maybe I'll scale it back 1 to see what I get here. Now I'm going to be a little too high, but I'm going to do this regardless to show you the process here and the way you can think it out. And if you write problems and you're not correct on each one, that's fine. If it takes three or four little multiplication problems, to get as close as possible, that is okay. Four times seven is 28. Four times two plus two, 108. So I'm over. So I would scale it back a little bit. I'd come to the side and try 27 times three now to see what I get. And I actually hit it right on the dot. So it's three. Three times 27 is 81. Subtract. I get a zero. I went all the way over and make sure you brought your decimal straight up and you have five and three tenths. So that's the mastery check for dividing decimals by decimal divisors. Hopefully you had at least three or four correct out of the four. If not, make sure you are seeing where your mistakes are or where you are getting stuck. Thanks for watching.